Team Lab Borderless. Team Lab Borderless. Five things you need to know before you go so you don't regret it. Hello, this is Hero from Jade Channel. Today I'm visiting Azabudai Hills, which opened at the end of last year. There is also a separate video about Azabudai Hills, so please watch it as well. This time, I went to experience Team Lab Borderless, a new facility by the Art Group Team Lab that opened on February 9th in Azabudai Hills. Based on this experience, here are five things you should know before you go so you don't regret it. If you are planning to go, please check in advance, and if you are unable to attend, please watch the video and try a simulated experience. Please note that there are many scenes that use light, so you may be concerned about how it will look on camera. But you won't regret watching this. I hope you are interested. We also have information about Team Lab Toyos, so please check it out. First, let's review a little about Team Lab. Team Lab creates art by forming teams of artists, programmers, engineers, CG animators, mathematicians, architects, etc. The team works all over the world, presenting their work and holding exhibitions all over the world. It is said that 1 in 10 foreign visitors to Japan now visits Team Lab. Team Lab Borderless, which was located in Odaiba until August 31st, 2022 will be closed and we will be sorely missed. However, it is now attracting attention as a state-of-the-art facility that has been upgraded and relocated to Azabudai Hills as Team Lab Borderless. Please watch until the end and if you like it, please subscribe to the channel and hit the good button. Okay, let's go. First, the theme is borderless. Before we get into it, let's learn a little about art. Artworks that make full use of light, sound, and digital technology are constantly appearing. Furthermore, you can see that the work changes depending on the movement of the person. The feature is that you can step into the work and experience an immersive experience. I would like to introduce the author's thoughts here. Once you understand this, you will have a much more enjoyable time. Experience a borderless artwork that removes the boundaries between the physical and cognitive worlds. There are 79 works in total. Works within the space exit the space and move to other works through passageways. At that time, the works overlap, influence, and interact with each other. Therefore, all the works here are interconnected and form a continuous world. It's truly borderless. In the real world, everything is continuous, inseparable, and composed of each other. However, when humans recognize things, they dismantle what was originally continuous. This place was born from the desire to create a place where you can experience the beauty of how everything in this world is connected, and a place where you can enjoy the very connections between everything. Second, Maze. I explained in one that it is borderless. There really are no boundaries when it comes to works of art. The projected object will fly out of the room, proceed to the hallway, and move freely to other spaces. 
While that part is fun and appealing, there are no maps inside the facility. There is no official route. You can roam freely. It's like a maze. In some cases, you may get lost. Also, if you ask the staff, they will tell you where the exits and restrooms are, but they will not tell you where the specific works are. I'm not trying to be mean. Because that's the intention of the work. Apparently so. People roam the world, explore with their bodies, and create and discover new worlds with others. Depending on the space, the staff may have put up a warning sign inside the space, but please be careful as some people were misled into thinking that entry was prohibited and turned back. You may end up on the exit side, or there may be a sign prohibiting entry. Look closely at the sign at the entrance to the space. This sign says that the floor of the space ahead is a mirror, so be careful of reflections. There are 79 works in total, but I don't know if I was able to see them all. The words written on the exit remind me of that. To have seen something is to not have seen something else. Third, pay attention to the length of your stay. Upon entering the facility, you will be immersed in an overwhelming work of art. This is because changes occur due to people's movements, and the performance is never the same twice, so it is always a new scene. Touch it, take photos, and record videos. Before I knew it, time had flown by. Especially if you like art, you'll probably want more time. I stayed for about two hours from 7 p.m. until closing, but I was so excited that I may not have been able to see it all. Also, depending on the space, there may be a limit on the number of people allowed, and in the case of popular art, you may have to wait for a while before entering. Also, as I wrote in second, the inside of the facility is like a maze. You walk around wanting to see all the rooms, but it can be difficult for first-time visitors to see everything. Time flies when you wander around. Once you enter, you can stay as long as you like until closing. We recommend staying at least three hours. The facility has restrooms, water vending machines, and a rest area. There is also a cafe where you can enjoy artwork, so if you want to enjoy that as well, why not extend your visit for about 30 minutes? I couldn't go there this time. Disappointing. I'll try it again next time. Fourth, experience and participate a lot. The digital art here changes according to people's movements. Try to touch it as much as possible. You can also feel the scent of flowers at the flower display. Please be sure to visit the cafes that I couldn't go to. This time, the fish I drew myself are participating as art. In this way, you can choose from several patterns and draw them like a coloring book. Ha ha ha, I have no talent for drawing. The staff comforted me with my poor drawing skills. When you scan it, it swims freely like this. I'm not good at drawing, but once you start swimming, it becomes really beautiful, right? What's more, you can take home your drawings as goods. Use them as badges, tote bags, t-shirts, etc. to keep your memories of your trip. How do you like it? Isn't this tote bag cute? Fifth, what do you wear? This time there is no place to take off your shoes and go barefoot like Team Lab Planet's Toyosu. However, there are some spaces where the floor is a mirror, so 
so be careful if you wear a skirt. There are lockers at the entrance, but they are small. For large luggage, please contact our staff. It can get hot inside, so please wear light clothing. If you are sensitive to cold weather, it is better to bring clothes that you can put on. If you want to take a commemorative photo, we recommend wearing white casual clothes if possible. The artwork reflected on the body looks beautiful. That would be interesting too. Digest Tour Now, I would like to give you a digest of some scenes from inside the museum. The scenery at the entrance here is a place for everyone to take pictures. I put down my luggage and go inside. Once you enter, you cannot return to this locker. Don't forget your smartphone. You can enter at the designated time. There are themes that hint at things to come. Please listen to the notes. Wonder, explore, and discover. Tamayoi, Tansakushi, Hakkensuru, Theme of Waters has no maps or routes. Chimurama Borderless には Kanai map no jundo ga arimasen. Some of the rooms are hard to find. Iksuka no heya wa okumatta basho ni arimas. Artworks with rooms move through the holes and enter to spaces. Sakhin wa heya o tobidashi, tsuro o tori, bits no heya e to ido shimas. In other words, the artworks in a room change over time. Try coming back to the same room again. Wonder, explore, and discover. Enjoy this wondrous, continuous, and unified world. You can read descriptions of the artworks near them. Some artworks can be interactive through the app. During busy times, some artworks may require reserving a number of tickets through the app. The inside of the building is dark, and some places may have steps or low ceiling. Please be mindful of your surroundings and proceed slowly. Please stay with the children at all times. The use of a flash is prohibited. Please refrain from talking loudly or running inside the installation as it might disturb other visitors. Enjoy the moment. Thank you. Art begins at the bottom of the stairs. I'll cut back on the explanation from here.
Thank you.